YouTube, if you are enjoying what you watch, give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness episode 10, Alan Cannot Sleep. He is sorry for lying and telling his parents they are a couple. It forced Charlotte to sleep next to him. Charlotte says it is okay. Alan tries to put a sleep spell on himself so he can sleep. It does not work. The bedding has magic disabling properties. This is all a setup by Erica. Charlotte tells Alan his parents look happy together. Charlotte thinks his parents are an unideal couple. This makes Alan wonder if he should act more like his uncle. Charlotte Charlotte says he doesn't have to act like him. They are both embarrassed. Charlotte asks Alan what he thinks about her. Alan debates on telling her the truth. He wants to be with her every morning, have tea together, garden, shop. Basically, he wants a normal life with her. Charlotte wants to learn naughty things by Alan's side while living a normal life. Charlotte doesn't want to force Alan to be with her because she is a wanted person in her kingdom. Alan just has no idea how to talk to women. He also wants Charlotte to be independent. Charlotte says he doesn't have to answer and tries to sleep. Erica makes a fuss about how Alan and Charlotte are so slow with confessing they like each other. Lisa Lotto throws a fork at them and tells them to stop talking. They woke her up and she is not happy. In the morning, Alan is tired. He got little sleep. Alan uses the disguise spell on Charlotte. He gives her glasses. She looks cute in glasses. He says the glasses will be an extra disguise to help hide who she is. Lou and Gozetsu know the glasses are there because Alan likes Charlotte in glasses. We go to school. Alan and Charlotte are looking for Natalia. They find her reading a book at the water fountain. They do not approach her. In the evening is when Alan and Charlotte approach her. Natalia and her gang don't know what they want, so they prepare to fight. Alan tells her he is a temporary substitute teacher. This does make sense. He used to teach at this school. I thought he was going to be a student, but being a teacher again makes more sense. Natalia asks if Alan Crawford is related to the headmaster Harvey Crawford. One of the students in Natalia's group tell her Alan is the naughtiest kid who ever went to school here. Another student tells Natalia Alan knocks out professors and students who oppose him. Another student says Alan fought Harvey for three straight days and destroyed a whole mountain. They are all afraid of the great demon lord. Alan tells them they are making him blush with compliments. <laughs> Natalia asks who the woman is. Alan says she is his assistant. Charlotte's name is now Charlotte. Alan tells Natalia he is here to instruct troubled students. Natalia says she doesn't want Alan's help and to leave her alone. She walks away. Charlotte is happy she got to speak with Natalia for a few seconds. She didn't talk to Natalia, but Alan will not burst her bubble. Alan says the plan is for them to hang out, eat, and fight just like sisters would. This makes Charlotte happy cry. We seen change to a classroom. Natalia is learning about five magical elemental applications. Alan wonders if Natalia is smart enough for this. Natalia raises her hand and tells the teacher they are writing down wrong things. She is correct. The teacher was wrong and she proved to Alan she is smart. Charlotte is so amazed at how smart Natalia is. Natalia makes a comment about how Alan's assistant doesn't know the five magical elemental applications. Alan says Charlo is new and is learning basics of magic while working. Alan suggests Natalia teach Charlo the basics of magic. Natalia says no. Charlotte says no also because it will interfere with Natalia's school life, but then realizes this is a setup and asks if Natalia is free if she would tutor her. Natalia says during this class, she can teach Charlo what the teacher is saying. After class, Natalia asks Charlo why she is studying magic. Charlo says Alan and others have been protecting her. She wants to be strong to be on her own and face anything. Charlo says she will practice the lightning magic Natalia taught her in class. Natalia says she could tutor Charlotte again. Lou and Ozetsu appear at school. They brought lunch for Charlotte only, not Alan. The students are surprised a Fenry and Hell Capybara are in school. Natalia says since Charlotte has two magical creatures, she must be an accomplished magical creature tamer. Natalia learns Charlotte is unaware of her magical abilities. Charlotte comments on Natalia's eating habit for lunch. She is having a hamburger and french fries. Charlotte says Natalia should eat some salad and leaves to get her a salad. Natalia asks why this woman who doesn't know her cares about her. Alan says Charlo has a little sister around Natalia's age and she sees her little sister in Natalia. Natalia asks Alan if he was sent to the school by the Evans. Alan says no. Natalia doesn't like her family. They are nobles in name only. They are selfish. She says her family is horrible. Alan asks if Natalia is studying hard at magic so she can one day leave her family. She says yes. 
yes. Alan brings up her sister Charlotte and how Charlotte was in the newspaper. Natalia tells him to not talk about Charlotte with her. We do not know if Natalia does want to talk about Charlotte because she hates Charlotte or she is just upset with the world for what they did with Charlotte. But we will find out in future episodes. Natalia gets up to leave when Chris stops her. Chris and Natalia are rivals. No one can get on their level. Chris says her reign will end soon. Natalia says if he wants to duel her, he needs to make an appointment. Chris is a snob. Natalia is a jerk. Charlo bumps into them and knocks her tray of food on the ground. They tell her to watch where she's going. Natalia kicks them for being mean to Charlo. She's teaching them manners. Natalia will fight all of them right here, right now, when Alan stops her. They are in the cafeteria with other students around them. Natalia cannot believe Alan doesn't want to fight for Charlo being pushed down. Alan says he never said he would forgive them. They just cannot fight in the cafeteria is all. Alan puts them all in a subspace barrier. Alan tells Natalia to keep three things in mind when fighting. One, always block off your opponent's escape route. Two, never miss hitting any of your opponents. Three, break your opponent's souls so they will never defy you again. Alan's final attack is ruined by Charlotte who used lightning. Charlotte is not happy with Alan nor Natalia. Fighting is wrong. He does not want Alan nor Natalia to ever fight again. Alan is amazed Charlotte used magic at him and she didn't even practice it. Charlotte has grown as a person. Alan tells Natalia he knows she was only helping Outcast and it got out of hand with the games. Alan wants Natalia Natalia to conquer this academy. She needs to be like him and rule this school. And I love how Alan was supposed to be the teacher to make Natalia less bad. And at the end of episode 10, he's like, oh no, I'm going to make Natalia the baddest person in school, which I just love. And that fits this anime so much. There are only two episodes left of I'm Giving the Disgraced Noble Lady I Rescued a Crash Course in Naughtiness. And so far, I've been enjoying this anime, and I know the last two episodes are going to be amazing. Go subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.